it was such a cool mix of his high pitch squealy voice and then you know he, he gets you all worked up and then you bring in the closer but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take your ass and i'm gonna bury you six feet under and I'm, you know worms are gonna eat your rotten soul and people never like did he just say that shit no he, he what <laughs> and that was just you know that's but Paul, man, uh, back to your point, man. Paul is awesome, man. I, I, you know, I owe him so much, uh, just from the development early on. Um, you know, I, it hurt me. It, it hurt me when we split up. You know, it wasn't that wasn't my idea. I thought we had a few years left before, you know, something like that, and it was going to happen. And uh, and uh, he's just a good dude too, man. He was he was just a good dude. Loved loved to play a practical joke on him on a brother, man. He was so funny. But uh, y'all yeah, had just, more, y'all had more great times than bad times. That's the key. Oh, that yeah, I, that, way more. Yeah, I, all my memories of Paul are fond, man. And, you See? know, and you got somebody that like that in your life. That, he was he was instrumental to the creation of what you created. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. You know, and it's funny. A lot of people don't know he's a legit. He was a legit mortician. Why oh, you didn't know that? Hell no. No, brother. Check, check this out. So, you know, when I debuted back in 90, right, uh, Brother Love come out with me. So at the time, Brother Love is still working and, and, and writing some of the TV shows. So he couldn't come out on the towns with me. So they had to find me a manager. <laughs> so so uh, Rick Rude tells Vince about this guy in Dallas who was, he was Percy Pringle at the time. Mm. He said he's a great manager, right? So they're interviewing him to be my manager. So and he's got no clue. So during the interview process, you know, Vince does this to everybody. He goes, well, you got any other kind of skills or, you know, do you, you, you play music or you do this or you do that? And Paul, you know, he goes, well, I'm a, I'm a licensed mortician. <laughs> and the whole room just busts out laughing, right? Because they're looking for a manager for me. It was destiny, man. It was destiny. That's like a perfect fucking fit. I mean, are you kidding me? It was supposed to be. So, yeah, man. So he had that big, that bright, blonde wrestling manager hair. They they pitched, they made it pitch black. And next thing you know, man, he's Paul Bear, and the rest is history. That shit was magic. That now that's that's called a zone. Yeah, like we were talking about earlier. When you find that zone, even before it came to public attention, y'all knew that motherfucker was a zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew uh, right away. You know what I'm we, saying? Yeah, right we, right, we knew right away we, we, we had something special. And, uh, yeah, just so so fortunate, man. So, so, so happy that, uh, that, that, that we got to do that together. That's, Funny that's, enough. A great, that's a great partnership that created a lot of other partnerships. See, like you said yeah. earlier, you don't realize how much – you influenced other by uh, by y'all doing what y'all did. Y'all made others think yin yang instead yeah. of having the manager, you know, wrestler sound the same. Now we got you this way, I'm that way because it changed after that. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's so we were so inter so tightly t intertwined together. I don't even think people really thought of him as my manager. I mean, they thought it it was like I don't know. It was like, it was like Batman and Robin. They, they were like together. They were they yeah. were. Yeah, they're inseparable. It's like we depended on seeing y'all together. If y'all weren't exactly. together, it didn't feel right. Yeah, absolutely. And then throw the urn in there. Woo! That was... <laughs> See, that's what, yeah, there's some good shit in that urn. <laughs> Man, I bet it is. You, you, owe, you owe me one shot at that at least. Let me let me pop the top on that one time. <laughs> one, well, you never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, this has been great, man. This has been amazing talking to you, dog. Dude, I could do this all night, man. And uh, I, I'm super excited about these shirts, brother. Everybody, everybody is wearing me out. 